Today in this video, I will discuss the next part of the CSS. In the last video, I discussed about the what is the CSS and the some basic format to write the CSS code. Okay. So now again as per your syllabus, again the next part of the CSS I will discuss in this video. So first things regarding the CSS advantage, why the CSS is important for the web page. Okay. First point is there here again the improve the control over the formatting. Formatting means again the any kind of the layout designing pattern that comes under for the formatting. So any design, any layout, any things you can do with the help of the CSS. Okay. So and another things, one layout you can put again for the multiple pages in your web page. Suppose that you have a 10 to 20 pages, same kind of the pattern if you want for the all of the pages. So you write that information in the layout designing pattern in again the one CSS file and that CSS file you link to the all of the pages. Okay. So what happened? All of the layout will be the same for the multiple pages. So you can improve the control over the formatting here. Second thing is again here that is again the very very important any web page maintenance is very very important things so with the help of the css maintaining is very very easy compared than the without css first of all without css again the developing the page is not at possible as per my knowledge so what happened here again the suppose that you already added the one background color for your all of the 50 pages maybe it's just considered that blue only you added tomorrow the client is telling no i don't want the blue i want again for the all of the pages the black otherwise some other color so with the help of the css what is happening you change in the only one file that will reflect to the all of the pages same kind of the any kind of the format any kind of the things is again the easy to maintain with the help of the css second thing is called next point for the advantage why the css required that is called again improve the accessibility accessibility means here for html display the contents in that contents if you want any kind of the print preview otherwise if you want to take the print out otherwise doing the some kind of the impact on your again the page okay that is the good for the screen recording and some other concept purpose with the help of the css again it will improve i mean the you can do this one in the proper way easy way also i can say so it is improving the accessibility Another point is there again that it is improve the page download speed. If you are using the external CSS, that is the one kind of the linking of the CSS, then with the help of that CSS, you can improve the page download speed. Okay, even the some certain techniques are there. If that techniques you can apply in the CSS, somewhat you can improve the page download speed. Okay, another point is that improve the output flexibility. Output flexibility means here, if you want to your web page in the responsive, responsive means different kind of the screen size you want to maintain your again the layout and other things in the proper way, then this CSS is the one of the main factor. So that's why the improved the output flexibility is the easy with the help of the CSS. So these five are the most important advantage for the CSS and this is very, very important for your examination purpose also. Coming back to the disadvantage, first things only not uniformly supported by the all of the browsers. That is the one of the big disadvantage of the CSS. Some CSS, some CSS you can use in the some particular browser, but same kind of the things will not support for the another browser. And again, the version is the important. Version is a very very important, and the most of the time the CSS standard supported by the Firefox, next to Chrome also, but not supported by the II, I Internet Explorer. Okay, so this is the big disadvantage for the CSS. Now coming back to the next point, selectors. Selectors means here whenever you are writing the CSS properties and the value, in which way you can write. Okay, that is called the CSS selectors and this is the very very important for the these subjects for your video examinations. One question confirm question they are asking always from this topic. So explain the CSS selectors like that kind of the question they will ask otherwise a small question they will ask one and two kind of the selectors. So here what happened as per your textbook there are the five type of the selectors they told. 
as per your textbooks class selectors id selector attribute selector pseudo class selectors and contextual selectors apart from this one two more selector is again you can open the w3school.com site other by some other textbooks they are telling simple selector and the universal selector is also there okay so but these five you whenever they are asking the question in the examination you add at least this five apart from the, that two also you are adding there is no problem okay but that two is also there in the as per the some different kind of the textbooks okay so we'll see all coming to the first one class selectors class selectors select the elements with the specific class attributes okay means here you can create a class in that class you can put all of the properties value and everything okay and that you class you can call anywhere in the any page if you have external that means you can call anywhere in your any page if you have internal in that page you can use the, again the multiple time of that class okay and whenever you are creating the class what is the syntax we have to write the dot we have to write the dot and then after that we have to write the class name any class name then curly bracket and the declaration class declaration that is called the property and the value which i discussed in the last class in last video so that css declaration part you can write and again close that curly bracket that is the syntax okay so you keep one one point in your mind here this class you can call anywhere any times in your page okay another things we have to keep how to create the class you can write the dot dot symbol that is called the period symbol and then again the class name curly bracket then the definition i mean the class declarations we have to write and we have to close the curly bracket and multiple declaration we have to terminate along with the semicolon okay we'll see one small simple yeah we'll see the one small example regarding the class selectors okay how to create the class selectors so again you can uh, write that the uh, class selector but this is again example for the document type of the css so what i did you see in that highlighted part inside the style tag you can write that any kind of the selectors so this is the class selector again inside the style open the style and close the style okay then after that you give the dot symbol and then the class name so here my the class name is the test class then curly bracket and i added one properties background hyphen color colon red so background color i change the red here and then again put the semicolon then we close the curly bracket so this classes i created in this page now coming to you can see after the body part h1 welcome to my home page that statement is there after that we have a one division div div class equal to then we call that class so this is the syntax how to call the class dibd class equal to then again you can call that class okay so in that class what is the class name test class t e s t c l a w s so class equal to double quote inside that one we can call that class close the double quote then again you can use in that division whatever the element if you want i already used the paragraph welcome to the cc then close paragraph close division so that division i used the that class again i created one more more paragraph keep presence okay close it so where i call that class there only the impact is there so whenever we will see the output here so we'll get the first line welcome to the my home page then next line will come welcome to the cs but welcome to the cc background color will become red because i use that css class properties here to change the background color and again the third line will come for the keep patience got it so in this way you can create class and we can call the class so you keep in your mind dot symbol class name curly bracket write the property multiple properties possible close the curly bracket and calling is div any any elements not the div any element you can call in the h1 also any element a space class c l a w -L s equal to double quote and call the class name okay so this is the class selector and keep one point in mind class selector you can call n number of the times in the web page okay coming back to the, coming next to again the id selectors class selector and id selector one ma main important thing uh, difference is there class selector you can call n number of the times in the web page but id selector we can call in the single page only once same id you cannot call in say in the page in the multiple times okay that is the main difference another difference is again there we are using the dot symbol period symbol here we have to use the hash okay other part is almost same only 
so one thing you keep in your mind we cannot call again the multiple times in the single page multiple pages you can call but single page id is the calling only the single times and another things regarding the syntax at the place of the dot we can use the hash and then again the same way you can write the id name what there we are writing the class name here it is called id name so id name again curly bracket css declarations you can put whatever you have then up close the again the curly bracket clear so we will see again one small example so now you see in this uh, example this is the example for the id selectors i just i will compare from this class selector and id selector together in this example class selector i use the dot example is the same only but there i use the dot but here i use the has because that is the syntax of the id selector text class test class is the id name here there that was the class name again the background color and the properties that is the same way coming to the calling purpose how to call this id here here div id there div class equal to same way double quote we can call the id okay so now where you are calling that id there only the impact is there okay so that division only the same kind of the impact is there so in that way you can see here class and id only the syntax by different is there okay other thing is again the same and one more things again i am telling again i am repeating again and again id we can call single times in the one same page same page not the same website website contains the multiple pages so same page single times you can call class we can call multiple times okay that is the main difference so today in this video at least up to the id selector you got the idea next part of the selectors again i will continue into the next video thanks for your patience